Oh, I'm getting right in these dag blasted mayflies. It's what I gotta do to get out of the wind where you can hear what I'm saying. Either way, people, I come out here this morning and I got rained out within 30 minutes. The weather forecast has been completely wrong. Either way, still a good chance. I wanted to do a night trip, I can't, uh, according to what they're saying. Well, it's cleared up for now, and while I had my boat out of the water, I wasn't ready to go home yet, so I bought this ultralight setup and some artificial, some uh, gulp minnows, and I went and caught me a live well full of bluegills. It's the heat of the afternoon now, and we're going to go sit out here, and uh, we're going to throw some of these bluegills on a hook. Skipjack on that side, bluegill on the other side. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon, maybe 3. I prefer to move, drift and drag out in the afternoon like this. But I want to see what hits that bluegill. That blue, bluegill's got its own type of movement, man. I'm just being experimental and going to see what happens. At night, first thing in the morning, yeah, I know I'd probably get something. But out here in the heat after the noon, just sitting still, I don't know. You never know until you throw, so we're giving it a go. Skipjack head hooked up first. Wasn't out here five minutes. Old beat up male coming off spawn. Boy, this sitting in one spot in the late afternoon ain't doing that great at all. It's been about an hour since I caught that fish. That skipjack has been hit multiple times by small fish. That bluegill hasn't been looked at one time. Now I know I can drift and drag and pull out six to ten fish here in the next few hours. I'm just trying to be patient with this and see what happens. We'll see how long my patience lasts. While I'm waiting, I'm going to eat a piece of cheese. I bet that bluegill just got snatched off the hook.
He's on there, but he's all chewed up and he ain't moving. That's a nice fish. That bluegill's had several bites. Bottom line, Skip Jack has landed two, and that's a pretty good fish right there. Yeah! Some people call these golly whoppers. I'm just gonna call it a nice fish. Big headed male. Yeah. This one's got a black spot on its head. It's a nice fish. You can see what that skipjack head looks like after all them small bites. It, it's been bit about 20 times by small fish. That bluegill's been hit about three times. Nothing's been able to uh, get a hook set though. Alright y'all, I've been out here two hours. I've had a gazillion bites on that skipjack. Landed two, one good fish. That's had a total of about three hits. And then they just quit hitting it. I need to check and see if it's on there. Some old gar probably snatched it off. We'll grab a second bluegill. We'll try it again. That second head, I had to take it off. Them little fish will not leave it alone. That's what they done to it. That rod's been hit 150 times. Of course, it's only landed two, but that bluegill ain't landed one. That's three on the skipjack.
Ja. Well, something hit it. I hope it's still on the hook. That might be the biggest fish of the day right there. He's a nice, a nice fish, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Skipjack is kicking that bluegill's butt. All right, y'all, that's another nice fish. Ah, oh, big white head on his butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wide, man. Skipjack for the win! Yeah. Whenever I seen that bite, something snatched it off the hook. Talk about a pain. Probably Gar just snatching it off the hook like that. Bluegill number Well, it got hit. I wonder if it's still on there.
Well, I missed that one playing around with that bluegill, and that was a pretty good takedown. Make sure I got the bait on here. Old small fish. That old stinger hook got him. That'll teach him. Don't be coming around my face. I might be getting run out of here by the weather in about 10 minutes. I hope not. Done been run off the water once today. Either way, skipjack for the winter. That's gar, I know it is. You can't hook a one of them. I got a storm coming in on me. People had to take a rain break. Uh, it's almost dark. Storms are going to keep fire, and I see another one back there. Now, I've caught plenty of catfish on bluegill in my time. Fishing for flatheads uh, at night, uh, sometimes in the morning, in the springtime. I've seen a summer bite before where a blue cat would not touch a cut bait and we dropped live bluegills over the side of the boat and that's all they would hit. 99% of the time though, that skipjack is the king of baits in the Tennessee River. Even your flatheads prefer a cut of skipjack here over a live bluegill. About 90% of the time I throw a live bluegill, I get gar hitting it, I get channel cat hitting it. Uh, you know, every once in a while I've caught a decent blue on it. Nothing real big, nothing over 30 pounds. You know, some places in the country, bluegill may be great, but here where they have so much food, natural food, shad, other bait fish, uh, skipjack herring, these blue cat will eat river mussels. They eat a lot of different stuff. That bluegill just don't have much appeal to them. Got a couple decent fish today. That's all I can say. Either way, this is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one. Signing out.